Let It Ride is a relatively new casino game. In fact, you're probably older than the game. Other casino games like roulette or craps have mysterious beginnings and history that goes back centuries. But Let It Ride actually started as a marketing ploy in the 1990s. Casinos used to use only one deck of cards for playing blackjack. This caused a problem for them because people started counting cards. Card counting is when a person is able to keep track of approximately how many high cards and low cards are left in a deck as a game is being played. They use simple math formulas to help increase their odds of winning. Card counting is not technically illegal and it doesn't break any casino rules, but casinos really don't like it. In 1992, a company called Shuffle Master introduced a machine that could automatically shuffle a deck of cards. The machine was also called the Shuffle Master. The Shuffle Master was meant to help stop people from card counting in casinos. But by the 1990s, casinos were already combating card counting by using multiple decks of cards. This meant that casinos didn't really need the Shuffle Master machine. To help sell its Shuffle Master machine, the Shuffle Master company invented a brand new table game that only used a single deck of cards. The game was Let It Ride. Let It Ride is based on five card stud poker. It is a slower paced game and it has a unique feature. Players can actually take back up to two thirds of their wager during the course of playing a hand. To start the game, players place their bets on the table. Each player must place an equal amount of chips into three different spots. They are able to take back either one or two of these piles of chips throughout the gameplay. The third stack must stay on the table. The dealer then deals each player three cards and puts two community cards face down on the table. At this point, players are permitted to look at their cards. They are allowed to take back one third of their bet at this time if they want to. The dealer then reveals the first of the community cards. Players can now take back one third of their bet if they want to. It is not possible to take back the final third of the bet. The dealer now reveals the second community card. The player reveals their cards to determine if they have a winning or losing hand. Let It Ride uses poker hands, but the lowest available winning hand is usually a pair of tens. Any hand lower than a pair of tens is considered a losing hand, and a player will forfeit whatever remains of their bet to the house. If they have a winning hand, the remainder of their wager will be paid out according to the casino's payout table. The better the winning hand, the more payout a player receives. For example, a pair of tens will pay out one to one, two pairs will pay out two to one, three of a kind will pay out three to one, and so on. Something like a royal flush could pay out a thousand to one, from its humble beginnings as a marketing ploy, Let It Ride has spread to casinos worldwide thanks to its unique features that let players have a little more control over their wagers. One of the best places to play Let It Ride is the Windover Nugget Hotel and Casino and the Red Garter Hotel and Casino in wonderful West Windover, Nevada. Come and play it yourself and let it ride.